ketopropack.com. Um, they reached out with an email email to me asking if I could do a little bio, send a couple of pictures of me using my Vito bags, and they've added me onto the website, which is brilliant. Thank you very much. And a shout out to Beasley's Tools for sending this little baby out to me, which I'm going to show you in a little while. This is the Vito Tech OTLC. Hi guys, go over to Beasley's Tools, www.tool-shop.co.uk. Have a little look through their website. They've got loads of Vito stuff on there. And th once again, thanks for sending me up with a Vito Tech OTLC. So I'd like to thank Beasley's Tools once again. Right, today we're going to have a little look around the Vito Pro Pack Tech OTLC. Um, I've been very, very impressed with this. It is absolutely fantastic. I was looking about getting uh, the Vito Tech OT MC, which I believe is the smaller version to this, but I'm glad this one came out. Um, it is, obviously, as you can tell, the open top um, version of the Vito bags. This is Sprill. Um, a couple of quick little points on this. This has got the new V-swap um, inserts. So I'll just move these out. So the centre one has obviously got the box in the middle with the lid. I've got some RJ45s there because I've been using it as a purpose bag for this week. Um, but again, you could put your SDS bits in there, you could put anything in there, and it keeps them all nice and stowed away in there. You've got these removable inserts, so you can fit them how you want to. So there's two of them, you can move them along the bag. I will be zooming in later to give you a closer look at the bag, guys. Just going to do a little loadout at the moment. And then these um, pockets and pouches on the side, they swap out for these. So this is um, your standard tool one. This is more of your storage pouches. So you've got the back one there, you've got all of these, you've got your big pouches. On the other side, I put in the um, mass storage pouch and I'll show you why in a moment. So like I said, guys, your normal high quality stitching from um, Vito. Um, this firm, very firm leather ridge along there, tough as nails. And again, with the uh, polypropylene base, I think it's three mil of plastic on the bottom. I will be doing my research on my other bag reviews I'm doing. It doesn't belong on there, I'll put that over there. On the side, guys, I've got my tape. So you've got your tape hook there, pop it on there, you've got a big compartment there and I've just popped some small um, micro screwdrivers in there and the end bit for my little impactor. You've got my insulation Nipex pliers in there, they're pretty much my all-in-ones but I've got a little pair of side cutters, I've got my little snippies. I've been doing quite a bit of um, Wi-Fi access point installations. Um, I've got my step cutters now because I really like them. They're only small. They're the little 160s, but they're brilliant. Yeah, so I've been doing quite a lot of Wi-Fi installations around the offices. Um, people returning back to work using laptops now, so they connect into the Wi-Fi. Got my punch down tool. I've got my little joker. In there, my little wrenches, my 10 by 13, my little eight there with the opposite end 10. So they're like the most common size I use on this side. Got my little stubby in there, little wear stubby. And I've got my little bit set in there for it so I can use any of them in this. And if I need to, I can just pop into that one as well, take the bits over there. So he goes in there. Got my chisel, um, hammer through wearer screwdriver there. Brilliant bit of kit. I think I've showed you this before. Oh. I can pop that on the end, just get a bit more torque, a bit more leverage. You know, just twist it a bit more. 
firmer grip. Just pop them in there. Where we're action screwdriver, bits in the end. Rate this one really highly. This is probably one of my favourite um, ratchet screwdrivers. Then I've gone back with my Nipex screwdrivers, uh, my VD ones. They're probably close to being one of my favourite um, screwdrivers. Especially, well, the VD screwdrivers. Absolutely fantastic. You've got the slim ends on them. It's got some. Uh, Patch cables there and some tape. Got oh, a couple of they shouldn't be in there, but just showing you. I've popped them in there. I was using these, so I think I've just shoved them in there. Sharpie there, and you've got another big pouch there. You know, you could put your torpedo level in there. I've just got in the middle section. I've got my cable ties tight in there, torpedo level, RJ45 crimping tool there, got about three or four of them, <laughs> I've got my little Milwaukee impact driver there, Oops. Take that I've got this little stealth mount mounted on the side, I've got two of these Absolutely fantastic. I keep one in the Tech XL now at all times. And I'll be keeping one in there. Spin the bag around. Um, like I said, got my RJ45 there, guys. Got my little Vito parts bag with my SDS bits in there. So I can pop them back in there. And I've got my Milwaukee SDS in there. So I've been fitting things, um, fitting access points onto the wall, so that's coming really handy fitting in there. Um, it's a very smart bag carrying it around the offices, it looks lovely. Um, and it, It's not a old place in any of the labs I go into, the library, courtroom, anywhere around the site I go, it all looks nice. I've got to say about the feed swap. Pops out like that, pop it in, and then I've got more storage if I need it. Um, I could leave that out, but um, why leave it out when you've got a lovely looking storage uh, pouch like this? There's the bottom as well, so I can pop that in there, pop the drill in there. Got some other storage air for some pens, like I say, got a loop there. Comes with a tape loop. Also, I had the other um, tape accessory, which is like the hook. Not sure where I put that now, in all fairness. I think I've kept it on one of the other bags for safekeeping, and now I can't find it. Oh, also on the side, I've just put some of these bit holders on there. Hex bit holders. These are great. Can be very handy. Got a carrying strap as well for the bag that can unclip. And you can just use the handle there. I noticed that these are torque bits on here, so I'm not sure if you can actually take this strap off. I will get back to you on that, guys. Or if anyone knows, leave a little thing in the comments. What I'm going to do guys, I'm going to come in a little bit closer now um, and just give you a whirl around it, show you it close, to show you the quality of it. Um, and then I will be doing some more reviews this week. Um, I'm working away for a couple of days, but the other reviews I will be doing. Oh, I've got my little brush there, just for getting it, all the dust off things. Um, but that's it, let's uh, have a little zoom in now guys. Okay, so here we go guys, we're just zooming in, having a little look at the bag, looking around it. Like I said, this leather trim around here is tough as nails. You can really feel the quality of stitching. Vito's old uh, leather logo label on there, which is brill. And this uh, material is absolutely 
fantastic you know you you're not going to skag that rip it or tear it again you've got this um super strong handle and you've got the carrying handle there so this is really well padded you know no matter how heavy the bag is i'll always give you a bit of support on my shoulders and what we do we'll have a little look in here and i'll just show you what i was looking at previously so you can pop these out and you've got the little um, dividers by here so you put them in any way you want to take them out So you've got your different ways you can pop that in the middle if you want to and then have it either side so it's really functional um, you can obviously adjust it for different days if you're going doing different work different kits you're carrying which i find really handy like i say the bag looks great um i think i'm going to start using this as my grab bag now um get it set up um, so it's just got loads of functions it's very usable bag okay and thanks again guys to Beasley's Tools um, for sending this out to me hopefully we can do some more work in the future and thanks again to vetopropack.com for putting my profile up on their website okay guys enjoy the rest of the weekend hope you have a nice weekend and take care and please subscribe to the videos thanks very much cheers guys bye bye